So this video is going to be about multiplying your outcome. And what I mean by that is you see now and then, well, you hear now in the news about rape a lot more often. I'm not sure is it because women are coming out more and speaking their truth or it's because we live in a total moralist society and everybody has no chill or no boundaries or no reserves so people are just raping like it's nothing i'm not really sure but what i will say is on college campuses the same problem is going on where a lot of young women are being raped whether it's going to college parties whether it's going to the bar whatever and it's a big problem that the colleges are trying to figure out how to deal with and this is my opinion on how to deal with it as a young woman and what you're supposed to do. Now, I'm not going to tell you don't go to the club, don't enjoy yourself, don't drink. What I will say is multiply the outcome. And what that means is if you're going to go out, you don't go out by yourself. You go out with at least three other people. But with that being said, when you go out together, that makes four of you guys. And you guys have to watch each other. And what I mean by that, let's say you do go to a college party and you do have fun and there's alcohol, you guys make sure that every person knows where the other person is inside of that party. If you leave, you have to tell the other three where you're going to be and where they should locate you and how to contact you. You guys should be honestly an eyes view, bird's eye view where we could see each other. We don't have to be so close together. We don't have to be the buddy system. We don't have to hold each other's hands. But if I turn my head, I can see you. You know, we can see each other. And with that being said, if someone is going to be totally shit face wasted, then there at least has to be two people who are responsible where they can enjoy themselves and they don't get messed up. Personally, I believe you shouldn't get messed up at all. And if you are going to get messed up, you should be getting messed up in your own home by yourself. But if you do choose to get messed up for whatever reason, make sure that there are at least two people who are going to be there and who's going to take care of you and make sure that you get home safely. The reason why I say multiply your outcomes is because when you're out of control, when you are at a party and you're not throwing it, you're just going there, you don't know the outcome. You don't know if someone might spike the drinks. You don't know if there could be a shooting. You don't know what's going to happen. But what you can do is protect yourself by being proactive, by being prepared. Come with three other people. That makes four. Make sure that you guys keep in touch with each other. Maybe every 20 minutes, 30 minutes, meet at a certain location just to be like, we're okay. Check and go back to your activities. Make sure that you can see each other from any corner that you'll be if you do choose to leave or not even necessarily go outside the party, but let's say another room, just let someone else know like, hey, I'm going to go to this room, I'll be back. Make sure that you watch each other, be each other's sisters, be each other's sister's keeper, my sister's keeper. Do that for one another. And this applies to males too, but specifically young women because I don't think women think about getting raped unless it happened to them or they're in a real sketchy situation where it's late at night, you're going to pick up your car from a garage, and you start thinking, oh my God, that's unsafe. But women don't tend to think that, oh, I could be the next victim who gets their drink spiked at a party. Personally, I don't drink anything that's already been open. Unless it's like at a restaurant and they're making me a drink. Personally, I bring my own bottled water. Not because I think yours is disgusting or you might spike mine. I just like being safe. But if you do choose to, you have to take extra precautions as a young woman because you do have something valuable and your body is valuable. So you have to treat it like it's precious. And like I said, you can't control the outcome. You can't control what's going to happen, but what you can do is be prepared. What you can do is make sure that you have other people watching you. You have other people who are going to care for you, the people who you can trust. And like I said, it's a major responsibility to be looking after someone. So if you know someone is totally uncontrollable when they drink, 
then it's best that you don't go with this person. And it's best if you're the person who gets totally out of control when they drink, drink less or don't drink at all. Because you don't want the burden of responsibility to be on someone to take care of you and you're totally disrespectful and they're like, hmm, maybe I just should leave you here or I will never watch over you when we go to parties. And I know that sounds like babysitting-ish and it sounds real kiddish, but I personally rather be be on the safe side and be like okay we're all going together we're all going to watch each other we're all going to meet here in 30 minutes near the lampshade and we're going to just be like here here we're good we're safe okay go back to the party i'd rather just ha all of us have a good time when the party ends we make sure that we go to one person's house maybe it's three o'clock in the morning you don't feel safe to walk to your dorm room okay well we're all going to camp out at this certain person's room so when it is early in the morning there's people out and you feel more comfortable you guys can leave so you, there isn't a situation where everybody gets dropped home safely and then there's that one person who wants to walk and it's dead at night and you're kind of creeped out you all made sure that you prepared and made plans where after the party you all go together in this one room you do a sleepover whatever and then you get to go on your merry way now this is not necessarily rape proof so to speak but if someone were going to try to penetrate your circle if there's more people it's less it's impenetrable so to speak versus there being one person or two people if you're going to try to overpower someone it's harder when it's a group versus one or two people. So that's why I'm saying it beats the odd when you do have more than one person with you. So those are my tips on going out and partying, enjoying yourself. You should still enjoy yourself. You should still go out. You should still do your routine. Just be safe. Just think about it. You know, be extra precaution. Take extra notice. If you see that there are people who are more wasted than usual, then maybe you shouldn't be there. If you see people getting sick or people are just not acting the same, they're strange off of drinking a drink or something, then maybe that should let you know that maybe you shouldn't drink it or you should be out. Just be... Take extra precautions because you just never know. And I know that kind of sounds real scary, but my thing is, I'd rather be prepared, I'd rather have a checklist, I'd rather have a good time going in and having a good time going out and not worrying about did someone try to take advantage of me or someone did take advantage of me. So be safe and be your sister's keeper. So that's the end of my video. Leave your comments below. Have you ever tried the buddy system so to speak? Did it work out for you? Do you have any other tips and advice to give other people who may be watching this video? Let me know in the comments below. Comment, rate, subscribe. Be blessed. And I'm out.